Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, uh, December 2nd, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And if you would like to have access to our full technical analysis, uh, our signal service, and also our live trading, you're welcome to head over to Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly today. So anybody that has been paying attention to the US dollar index has seen that we nearly fell 1% today in the US dollar index. That is, uh, that is fairly huge. We basically broke the previous lows. And uh, at this point, the US dollar index is in a free fall. And that, of course, will pressure this uh, currency pair uh, much much higher but we are not at the all time uh, the highest here i didn't say all time highs but the highest of the uh, of the end of august so it'll be interesting whether or not we can break through this area uh, this resistant area uh, we are at 74 at this point uh, technical indicators are all looking very bullish at this point so it'll be interesting whether or not we can break this area i think that we'll get up to this level 1349 uh, and then uh, pull back towards the 20 exponential and then have another go at it. Um, but if we break above this level here and uh, have another green candlestick, then that means that we are going to go much higher. And this previous resistance will act as support. So at this point, it is very risky to buy this. Um, I would wait until it basically pulls back towards the 20 exponential, similar to this, in order to buy, uh, go higher. So let's look at the US dollar yen. And as you can see, we have rallied up towards the 50 moving average and then gave most of those gains back. We are basically right where we started today. And um, at this point, I think that we are just going to continue uh, gradually going higher. At this point, I think that we are going all the way uh, to the 100 moving average or to this uh, uh, upper trend line here. So we are in a, a downward um, channel. We have been here for months, all the way back to uh, end of of, uh, of March. And um, well, it is just buying, selling when we're at highs and buying when you're at the lows. That is has worked for many months now, and uh, that will continue working as long we as long as we we're in this channel, basically. So technical indicators for the for for the U.S. dollar yen they are looking fairly promising. The MACD is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and uh, at this moment we only need to break the 40 and the 50 moving average, and then we're heading towards the 100 moving average before most likely turning around something similar to this and that and that we have been in several times before so let's look at the us dollar and uh, <clears throat> the euro and euro dollar and as you can see we have broken way above these previous highs and we are still trading above those above those previous highs um i am expecting a pullback from here um because we are at 6, 76 and uh, we are significantly overbought in this uh, at this point technical indicators are still uh, very bullish but look at the bullish band we are way outside the upper uh, bullish band and that is that usually means that we're going to pull back towards the uh, 20 moving average around 1188 that is around here so 1189 or uh, give or take so uh, that is most likely what is going to happen before we continue higher. This just can't continue forever. Um, but at the moment, momentum is to the upside. We could go a little bit higher, but I'm expecting a pullback. It is just ridiculous to buy it at this level. It needs to pull back in order to be able to buy this. I'm definitely not a seller at this stage. So Aussie, US dollar, we um, broke down quite significantly. But this level, 0.7342, uh, has proven to be significant support. So we tried this level twice, and you can see that it's basically where we had the previous highs over here. And we go back, this is a level that has been uh, quite supportive in the past. So this may well be as far as we go. This looks like a very promising uh, hammer here. So... Um, 
we may stay here for a while, um, probably get the uh, RSI a little bit lower. We are quite high for in the RSI in order to break uh, above this uh, resistance area. And these technical indicators are also turning around. Um, so we'll see. If we break this uh, support here, then we're heading towards the 20 exponential and then the 40 and probably the 150. Um, that is possible, but I'm still not accelerating this. I'm just going to wait and see how far we technically can go in order to buy this to the upside because this we are in a, a well, we have been in a bullish market ever since we were back here. And that is a move of roughly uh, 34%. So, and the last uh, six months. So that is fairly good for this currency pair to be fair down. So buying the dips, that is what I'm going to do in this market. So US dollar, Canadian dollar. We have broken down again today. We have not tested these previous lows, but at this point, I think that we are going to see a pullback towards the 20 exponential, and that is around 1.304 at this stage. So we'll see something similar to this, and then it continue onwards. We are just making lower lows. So next stage, I think we're going to uh, 1.28. That is probably where we're heading to after this. If this breaks, then we'll head towards that area. You can see we are significantly oversold at this stage. Uh, it's just a matter of time before the stochastic turns around and the CCI turns around um, and we'll head back towards the 20 exponential. If that breaks, then the 40 exponential is just above. So wait until we see a pullback and then just sell the, pull, the pullback. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to so see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where we, we already have over 90 traders using our service service after, after one month. So very good and you're welcome. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.